Good day to you, child of God. This is the Remnant C Bible Study Channel. Welcome. The year of our Lord, September 29, 2023. The birth of Jesus Christ, September 29th. Beloved, modern Christianity sits by silent on this day. No mention of the birth of our Lord. It just absolutely boggles my mind. This is not rocket science. Uh, modern Christianity is, is, has gotten so far off track, there's a complete reformation needed. I've seen it firsthand. I, I am the ultimate troll on the Internet. I monitor countless uh, churches, uh, preachers, you know, all kinds of different people coming on the Internet. And I've also done it firsthand by going to the churches personally. Um, it's up to 75 now, and these all these things back here are uh, kind of a testament to that. You know what, beloved, I think just for the heck of it, this is kind of impromptu, and I'm just going to kind of give you a little little view of these. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe uh, I've been to your church, but these are all, um, these are all places that I've been to. Okay. All right. So that's a little view of, uh, you know, my set is not a green screen. It's a tri these are real. All right. Let me adjust that once more. Sorry about that, beloved. I never do that. I just wanted to, you know, I like to bring the receipts. Beloved. Christianity is just so far off. They're using the wrong calendar. Uh, they get they get Christmas wrong. They call it the wrong thing. It should be the birth of our Lord. They get Passover wrong. And they celebrate everything with the wrong calendar. They're using the wrong calendar. And now they're even using the wrong Bibles. <laughs> it's like they don't see the fact that God's word's being changed. A little leaven leavens the whole lump. Okay. And the modern Bibles, they, guess what? They don't include begotten. Okay, you know what begotten means? It means God the Father begot Jesus Christ. Okay, the Holy Spirit was the Father of Jesus Christ. There's only one in all of history who can claim that, and that's Jesus Christ. And guess what? The new translations just eliminate that word. Doesn't that make you just a little suspicious? Why would you trust anybody would take that word out of your modern translation? It's like you got the wrong calendar. You got the wrong Bibles. The word of God's being changed. And none of these knuckleheads even see it. They just will not realize the fact that the new translations were all done by non-Christians. Why would you let a non-Christian do your translating for you? It's, to me, it's just laughable. And these people will not wake up, okay? They just will not wake up. They don't see the fact that a little leaven leavens a whole lump. And God does not accept it when you worship him on the wrong day. You're, you're changing his word. Even if the changes are subtle, okay, you're still changing the, the original words that God spoke to you. And why would you do that? Why would you think that you have the wherewithal to second guess the Lord, okay? And I'm not saying the King James is perfect, but it's as, it is as close as we are ever going to get. And none of these modern translations and new discoveries of these uh, supposed hidden Dead Sea Scrolls and the Byzantine, you know, all, all of this new discoveries... Uh, it's, it's like uh, we, we got a new revelation from God. And it's the same thing that people do when they rewrite the Word of God. We got new revelation, and this version is better. And, and it's just not true, beloved. It's just not true. God, if He is able to write His original Word through the hands of men, then He is also able to preserve it from the same hands of men. And I believe that King James was given that commission by God. And sure, the translation is not perfect, but it's as close as we can get. And I don't believe that there is any malice in it, okay? 
So anyway, I this this video is basically I want to show you the Gregorian calendar and I'm going to show you the ancient Hebrew solar calendar, which is purely based on the sun. And the Gregorian calendar is lunar solar, and it's based on the cycles of the moon. And it's that's not the way God operates. The 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 original calendar is solar. And you can go out in your backyard and make you a solar calendar with a sundial. It's not rocket science, okay? It's exactly the same every year. You got the spring equinox, you got the autumnal equinox, which we just passed up. And they come at the same exact time every year. There's no excuses for this. I mean, come on, man. The birth of the Lord Jesus Christ is today, and you will not hear one mention of this anywhere in Christianity. Doesn't that tell you something about what we got right now? It just boggles my mind, beloved. It just absolutely boggles my mind. And then you, the high day of Christianity when our, our Lord was crucified, and then he died and rose again. They got that date wrong, too. They got it just about everything you could think of. I mean, you got the rapture. You got Santa Claus. You got the Easter bunny. I mean, you got people rolling Easter eggs around. And, and it's, it's just a, it's, it's a spiritual food fight, a, a pillow fight. And it's just complete chaos in Christianity. And I just, I, I, I don't see how the Lord is going to tarry much longer with this. So here we go. Let's, uh, I'm going to read all of these off to you, beloved, and, and just show you the Hebrew solar calendar. And the civil months are six months later than the sacred months. And here we go. This is taken directly from the Companion Bible by Dr. E.W. Bullinger, the Scholar of Scho Scholars. No, the first month of the year is Abib, or Nisan. And it starts off with the spring equinox. What better way to do it? Okay, and it's a surefire way to start off the first of the year. Okay, and, and on the 14th of that very same month of Nisan uh, is the Passover. Not rocket science, okay? And the 16th day is the first fruits of barley and the harvest presented. And then you got number two, is Ziph. The 14th day of Ziph is the second Passover for those who couldn't keep the first. Okay, and number three is Sivan. The sixth day is Pentecost, or the Feast of Weeks. The first fruits of wheat harvest and the first fruits of, of on the ground. Okay, and you got the fourth month is Tammuz. The fifth month is Ab. And the sixth is Elul. And the seventh, with, which is very consequential, and it just happens to be the seventh month. It's Tisseri, or Ethanim. And the first day is the Feast of Trumpets. The tenth day is the Day of Atonement. The fifteenth day is the Feast of Tabernacles, the first fruits of wine and oil. Okay, and you got the eighth month is Bull. The ninth month is Chisalu. And it's the, the 25th day of Chisalu is the Feast of Dedication. And you got the 10th month is Tibet, the 11th month, Shabbat, the 12th is Adar, okay? There you go. That's the Hebrew ancient, the ancient solar Hebrew calendar. Now we come to the lunar solar calendar, the Gregorian calendar, which is, which is taken, which considers the moon and, and its dates, which is the moon is a not an accurate timepiece, beloved. It's not accurate. Okay, and this is the equivalent. Okay, you got the first month of our year and the Gregorian calendar is Tibet on the Hebrew. Okay, and the second month, our second month is February. And that's Shabbat on the Hebrew calendar. The third month of our year in the Gregorian calendar is March and that's Adar. Okay, that's March. And the third month of our year is Adar and the spring equinox is on March 20th, give or take sometimes the 19th or the 21st, depending on the cycles of the moon, which is inaccurate, okay? And, but March is Adar, okay, on the Hebrew 
a calendar, and it's the third month of the Gregorian calendar. Okay? And the fourth month of our month on the Gregorian calendar is April. And that's the Bib or Nisan, which is the first month of the Hebrew ancient solar calendar. Okay, and that's April 3rd is Passover. Okay, and that's how you determine it. You count 14 days from March 20th to April 3rd. That's Passover. The fifth month of the Gregorian calendar is May, and that's Jif on the Hebrew. May 23rd is Pentecost. The sixth month is June, Sivan. The seventh month is July, Tammuz. The eighth month is August, and that's Ab. And the ninth month is September, Elul. And September 29th is Christ's birth. Okay, and then you got the tenth month, October, which is Tisri or Ethanim on the Hebrew calendar. And October 1st, is the Feast of Tabernacle, uh, the Feast of Trumpets. October 10th is the Day of Atonement. October 15th is the Feast of Tabernacles, the first fruits of wine and oil. The 11th month of November on the, on the uh, Gregorian calendar is Bill on the Hebrew, ancient solar calendar. And the 12th of, uh, month is December on our Gregorian calendar, and that's Cheslu. And that's when the birth of our Lord, the the uh, conception, not the birth, I miswrote that, doggone it. This is the conception of our Lord on December 25th. And guess what? Nine months later is, a, is, is around approximately September 29th. Not rocket science. And there you have it, beloved. There's your comparison of the two calendars. Now I'm going to read Ezekiel 16, 35 for a few verses here. And this applies to America and the world today. And I believe this is right where we're at, beloved. And we're seeing the beginnings of this judgment being poured out by our God. And if you know Ezekiel chapter 16, you know this is the birth of Jerusalem as Jebus, founded by the Jebusites, was an unclean birth. And then David conquered it and later named it Jerusalem. And this is a type of, and, or an example of what, where we are today, beloved. And this is written to the ten northern tribes and, the, and then the two southern tribes, Samaria and, and Judah. Okay? All right, and we're going to start off with verse 35. Wherefore, O harlot, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, because thy filthiness was poured out and thy nakedness discovered through thy whoredoms with thy lovers and with all the idols of thy abominations and by the blood of thy children, which, which uh, didst give unto them. And this is a spiritual, this is all being spoken of as a spiritual metaphor. Adultery in the carnal and idolatry in the spiritual. And this is the way the Lord feels about the false gods, the false Bibles, the false holidays. Everything we celebrate on the wrong days. The false doctrine. The free-for-all we got in modern Christianity. This is the way the Lord feels about it. And look at the blood of thy children. What do we do with our children? We kill them even up into the ninth month in this nation, and the Lord hates it. Behold, therefore, I will gather all thy lovers with whom thou hast taken pleasure, and all them thou hast loved, and all these abominations that we do, and them that thou hast hated. And I will even gather them round about against thee and will discover thy nakedness unto them and they may see all thy nakedness. The whole world is seeing it right now, beloved. Look at this administration that, that has taken over our nation. They are completely under the control of Satan and the whole world is m making fun of America right now. And the Lord spoke to me early in this year. He said, I will have America in derision. 
there will be a laughing stock to the rest of the world. And look at our look at our leader right now. The guy can't even the guy can't even walk. He can't even make a speech without stumbling through and, and making misquotes and lying. It's an absolute abomination, the rulers of this nation. And the whole world see it. We are a laughing stock. We are a derision to the rest of the world. Okay, and I will judge ye as women that break wedlock and shed blood are judged. And I will give thee blood in fury and jealous and jealousy. Our God is a jealous God. And I will also give thee unto their hand. And they shall throw down thy imminent place and shall break down thy high places. They shall strip thee also of thy clothes and shall take thy fair jewels and leave thee naked and bare. Beloved, our nation is being pillaged right now. Our wealth is being stolen. We have given $113 billion to this place called, it starts with a U, I'm not even going to mention it, okay? They are stealing your money. They are laundering this money and taking it from you. That's where all this money is going. We're being stripped bare of our, of our wealth. It's being taken from you, the taxpayer, right now. America is being pillaged right before your very eyes. And people don't see what's going on. This is the judgment of God. This, that's why this is happening. We have Kenites, we have devil worshipers leading this nation right now. Okay? They shall also bring up a company against thee, and they shall stone thee with stones and thrust thee through with their swords. It's what's going to happen to America, beloved. And they shall burn thine houses with fire and execute judgments upon thee in the sight of many women. And I will cause thee to cease from playing the harlot and worshiping other gods. And thou shalt <clears throat> also give no hire any more. You will not be able to do this anymore when the Lord gets done with this nation and all the people that, that, that do these abominations. And we see many nations following the lead of America right now. They're all in cahoots with each other. And the Lord has had it with this. So will I make my fury toward thee to rest, and my jealousy shall depart from thee, and I will be quiet. Uh, I will be no more angry. Okay, and beloved, there's going to come a time when the Lord is just going to give up on all this, and he's going to pour out his fury on this. And, and, and after he pours out his fury, it, it, it's going to be no more. And that's going to be it. And we're, beloved, we're right on the doorstep of this right now. We're right at the beginning of this. America is falling, okay? And take heed to this, beloved. This is a warning. And it, it should be obvious to, to all those who know the truth that this is coming, okay? Nobody is going to save you. The only thing that would save us at this point is if, if we have a drastic turnaround and a 2 Chronicles 7, 14, if we turn from our wicked ways and repent of our sins and cry out to God Almighty and ask for forgiveness, this may stop it. But I don't see that, beloved. I don't see it. I don't see it. Okay? Anyway, um, happy, happy birthday, Lord. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for what he did on the cross, Lord God. Beloved, why don't, you, why don't you just bow down right now and thank the Lord for his plan of salvation and tell him how much you love him. And anyway, I love you too, beloved, and I do this for you. And my heart just aches for my beloved America and the world right now, beloved. Anyway, and I'm going to bring this one to an end and much love from me to you and We'll see you on the next one.